Boutique Bay, and I am back with another video. I know it's been a little while. This video is coming to you guys because I have a client who has this question. I built a website for them, and they're like, girl, we don't know how to rearrange our um, collections within the store. So I'm going to show you how to get that done. So um, you need to come over into Themes, which is under Online Store. Click on Themes. Come over into Customize. Okay, now this is um, one of my pre-made sites. So if you are interested in this style, then I will leave the link below um, to this particular design on my shop um, if you're interested in it. So anyway, so um, what they're asking, so these are the collections. This is what's called a collection list where you can list out the collections that you have in your store. And I have them separated and they're like, we want to move one collection from the top to the bottom, etc. So one of the things um, that you have to know about the collections is that um, if you want something, so you see here, I have a collection list here and I have a collection list up here. So there's no way to drag something from one collection list into another. Okay, so if you're trying to take something that's at the bottom of your store, and move it to the top, right? If I wanted this prim and proper collection to be up here with hot styles, I can't take this and drag it up here. It's not going to allow that to happen. You can only rearrange things in the collection that you're in. So for example, I'm in this one where it says off the shoulder, shop or sale in prim and proper, right? I can move prim and proper around I can swap its place, right? I can move it around, but I cannot move it into another collection list. So if you want something in a different collection list, then you need to select it. So what I wanna do here is I actually have some collections already in here and I'm gonna delete them. So I'm showing you this too. If you want something out of a collection, you can remove, click on it and just remove the block. Okay, so now if I wanted to add something, so let's say I wanted to put prim and proper, this prim and proper collection up here, then what I would do is click add collection, all right? Click on select collection, and now Shopify is gonna give you all of the collections that you already have made. It's important that whatever collection you want showing on your store is already made. Okay, because it can't get, give you an option that's not there. So um, let's go ahead and select the prim and proper collection and hit select. And then all you have to do is save. So now the prim and proper collection is sitting at the top. The other thing to remember about collection lists are that the collections, um, there's only six that can go into a collection at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the remaining uh collection so she just so you can see that so i'm going to uh add the off the shoulder collection up here and i'm going to also add the shop our sale collection so let's add another collection select it and then shop our sale so now that we have all of these in here let me make sure i select this now that we have them in here, you can rearrange your selections however you like. You see what I'm saying? Like you can rearrange them however you wish. The other thing is, let's say you have a collection. Let's say that you're like pre-building your store and you're like, I know that I'm gonna have, let's say you know you're gonna have a sale for like Martin Luther King's birthday, right? And so you make <clears throat> like a MLK sale collection but you don't want to run that yet you don't want it visible on your store yet right you can make anything on your store invisible by clicking on these little eyes so let's say we don't want the, sh the sale to show yet you can click that little eye to make that invisible so it's not visible on your store it's there but not visible so let's say i'm ready to come in and run my sale now boom just unclick that little eye and now that collection is visible again to you so hopefully that makes sense so the main thing to remember is that if you see two collection lists right 
you can't move items from one collection list to another collection list. Now, the next thing I wanna cover, just in case you ever wanna create another collection list in your store, come down here to add section, click on collection list, and then now you have another option to add more lists into your store. Okay, and you would take the same process, click on the collection, click on select collection, select whatever collection you want to go into the list. You get what I'm saying? So that's how you do this. And again, if you ever don't want a collection not to show or you don't need all the collections that show, and maybe you only want two collections, right? So you select another thing and you're like, okay, I have, I want to do hot styles here, but I don't need, I don't need this uh, third collection. You can always click on that collection and click on remove block. And now you have those two collections showing. You get what I'm saying? So, but just the biggest thing to remember about your collections or anything within Shopify, each one of these little headers, think of these as headers. That's a header, header, right? You cannot move anything from one header to a different header. You can move this whole collection around if you want, right? But you cannot move things that are in one collection to another collection by dragging, okay? It doesn't work like that. The same thing if it was a slideshow. Like I couldn't put this slide from this slideshow into this slideshow. It doesn't work, right? So it has to be within this little header. So whatever the header is, you can move things around within it, but you cannot move something like this into this slide or something in this collection into this collection, okay? So you have to work within the actual main header within that group, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Same thing with these link blocks. I can't move something from this link block out of the block. I can move it around within it, but not outside of it. So hopefully that makes more sense about how to add things in and out of your collections, how collections work within Shopify. Um, this is pretty much the case for all of the themes. You can do do this for anything, but yeah, with a collection list, just um, know that you cannot add things from other collections um, into the list. So uh, outside of that, that's pretty much the video for today. If you have any questions, please let me know. And again, if you are interested in having me build a website like this, uh, check out the link in my description. All right, bye.